This tutorial explains how to get the equation of a linear trend line in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data frame a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data frame contains two columns which are called X and Y. And the column X ranges from 1 to the number of rows of our data frame and the column Y contains random numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data in a line plot. Then we can apply the plot function as you can see in lines 6 to 8 of the code. And within the plot function we need to specify our X column, our Y column and our type of plot that we want to draw. So in this case we want to draw a line plot and for that reason we are specifying the type to be equal to L. So if you run lines 6 to 8 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot is appearing, which is showing a line plot of our data frame. Now if we want to add a trend line to this plot, then we have to estimate a linear regression model, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the LM function to our two variables y and x and I'm using the variable y as target variable and the variable x as predictor variable and then I also need to specify the name of the data frame so in this case our data frame is called data. And then I'm storing the output of the lm function in a new data object which is called mymod. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new model object is appearing, which is called MyMod. And now in the next step, we can draw this regression line on top of our plot, as you can see in lines 12 to 18. So in lines 12 to 14, I'm recreating our plot without trend line. And then in lines 15 to 18, I'm using the lines function and the predict function to draw a trend line on top of our line plot. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a red trend line has been added to our plot. Now let's assume that we want to get the equation that corresponds to this trend line. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 20 to 28. So in line 20, I'm first applying the coef function to our model object mymod and then I'm returning the output of this in a new data object, which is called mycoef. So if you run line 20 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called mycoef. And you can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 21. And then you can see that our data object contains an intercept value and a beta value for the variable x. So if we want to convert these data into the equation of our trend line, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 23 to 27. So in these lines of code, I'm using the paste function, then once again, the coef function and our model object, and I'm pasting this together with a plus sign and other components of our equation. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling my equation. So if you run lines 23 to 27 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called my equation is appearing. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 28. And then you can see that we have created a character string which contains the equation of our trend line. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. 
I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.